You consider to start exercising or look for a high quality full body workout but don't know where to begin? This routine might be right for you. The following workout only consists of three exercises, but each one has a wide variety of different benefits. These exercises will train your whole body and will not only increase your strength and build muscle, but also improve your mobility and stability. The first exercise is a combination between two moves, the push-up and the L-sit. You can modify this combination to your level. As a beginner you can just switch between the push-up and the tucked L-sit. Hold the tucked L-sit for 3 seconds, switch to the push-up position and do a push-up. Of course you can also do more push-ups before you switch to the L-sit. We suggest anything between 1 and 3 push-ups. It's also possible to adapt the L-sit position to your current level. You can do the L-sit as an advanced tuck, a one leg and of course a full version with both legs. For all advanced athletes, we suggest a tucked planche push-up to L or even V-sit. This exercise will train your chest, shoulders, triceps, abs, quads and your lower traps. It will also increase your mobility when it comes to the straight leg position. The next exercise is a pull dominant rowing movement. Depending on your level you can do body rows with different angles, archer body rows or even one arm body rows. We know that people tend to neglect body rows and like pull-ups more. Both movements are pull dominant, but body rows have a huge benefit, because they can be done on every level and it's easier to hit other muscles than only the lats as well. They also engage different muscles on your back like the rhomboids and middle traps. When you do a pull-up, it's not easy to pull your shoulder blades back like you would do it in a body row. So any kind of rowing movement is perfect to hit those muscles. Long story short, hollow body pull-ups are more for backwards, while rows are more for density. When you do the body row, always aim for body tension. Pull your shoulder blades backwards and bring your shoulder blades together. The last exercise is the shrimp lunge. As you can tell from the name, it's a combination between a shrimp squat and a lunge. The difference to a normal lunge is that you shift your weight forward until your rear foot loses contact to the ground. From there you extend your leg without the support from the other one. Only lean as much forward as necessary and keep your spine neutral. This exercise is great in terms of single leg strength and stabilization, but you also have to keep in mind that the more you move forward with your body, the greater the pressure gets for your knee. This is no problem for a person with average weight and healthy knees, but if you are overweighted or already have some knee issues, we suggest normal lunges. This exercise focuses on your quads, but also uses the hamstrings, calves, abductors and adductors to stabilize the movement. Alright, now it's time for the routine. Start with a push-up to the L-sit variation and do 3 to 4 sets, depending on your level. Rest for about 2 minutes between every set. After that you do the body rows. Again you do 3 to 4 sets with 2 minutes rest in between. You finish this workout with the shrimp lunges and also do 3 to 4 sets and rest 2 minutes in between. When it comes to the exercise itself, we suggest anything between 6 to 12 reps for body rows and the shrimp lunges. When it comes to the l to push-up, we suggest anything between 5 to 8 reps, because here you have a combination between two movements. In this case one rep would be 3 seconds tucked l sit hold and 1 to 3 push-ups. If you want a complete training program to increase strength, 
build muscle mass and learn and improve basic, intermediate and also advanced calisthenic movements, we recommend our level 1 to 5 program. These programs give you a progressive training schedule for about one and a half years. Find the program on our website and get started today. If you have further questions, just leave a comment. Thanks, Alex.